Hello everybody, my name is Humlord5792, and I am here with some Amnesia the Dark Descent. I think this is part five? Part five, maybe? I don't know. Either way, we're about to go deeper into the castle, and yeah, I guess let's go, man. Ah, ah that ambience. That ambience. Also, my coughing is a little bit better from the last episode. I've been a little bit lazy and a little bit frightened for my life um, from playing this game. So, yeah, refinery time, I guess. I think this is where the monsters actually start showing up. I, I'm not actually very sure about that, though. But fuck if I know, man. I could have sworn that the, um wine cellar had them actually showing up, but this time- oh. Oof. Memories! Memories! Sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason for the darkness, that is? Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Fair enough, fair enough. Careful when enemies are near. Crouch. Okay. That means that I should just crouch constantly. How's my brain? Slight headache? Ah, that's fine. There's a spoopy scary man. I'm go over here for a second. Still just a slight headache. I'm gonna be watching for that, because I'm not very sure on how fast you go insane. God, I don't know what his pattern is. Minimap, please. Plus. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, this looks like more than a slight headache, sir. Okay. Okay. Pick up that oil. Can I put the candle out? This may or may not be a problem. May or may not be a fatal error on my point. <coughs> I will try not to cough into the microphone, but I may or may not fail on that part, on that point. Okay, it opens outwards. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I hear, I hear the death, and I'm not liking it, not liking it, not liking it, not, not at all. I feel like I'm cheating a slight bit because my brightness is up. Blood. Muck. Ah! Freeware. I don't like that. I'm gonna close this. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. 
next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? So, hello everybody. Helm here, post-editing, well, in the middle of editing. I am adding in over-commentary to save this video, because I don't want to go through this portion again. Um, that, that note there, I decided to turn off my mic during that so that you didn't hear my breathing and such. Um, so... <laughs> uh, I forgot to turn it back on. So what you're hearing now is after the fact talking, so you're not going to get to hear my panic screeching at this next part coming up. Um, <coughs> sorry. Still going to try to not cough in the microphone. <coughs> oh, shit. Okay, um, either way, uh, sorry about this. Um, I'm going to try to recreate all of my, um, well, try to point out all of the parts where I'm panicking and stuff. But, yeah, this is basically me watching it while commentating. So, enjoy for a little bit. Yep, yep, fuck that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. I feel like a total idiot. I'm so sorry about this. Um, this is, like, gonna be way lower quality. I fucking hate myself. Next time, I'm just not gonna mute my mic during this unless I'm coughing, because I remember to immediately unmute myself at that point. But I'm just a fucking idiot and forgot to unmute myself. God damn it. Yep, uh, I'm amusing the idea of just re redoing this part, but I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is, because it's not. I don't know, I don't want to go through the whole damn game just to get to this part again. So, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Be right back when something interesting happens. Oh wait, no. I solved this puzzle. Yes. Yes. Topping up that. I solved this puzzle. I could have sworn that there was, an, there was a grunt in here, because I'm pretty sure that's what those guys are called. But, I apparently avoided them just perfectly to get to the this next part. Which, some of you may or may not know, is one of my most hated parts. Because, I have a big fear of the unknown. And this next monster that comes up, is invisible. And underwater. <coughs> oh! I just decide to turn on- oh. Oh. <laughs> I muted- I thought that I muted my mic for my coughing there. Oh my god, the fucking god damn it. Um, yes, and then walking through here, and fucking black out. Oof. And water! <laughs> yeah, you knew it was coming up, it was a water monster. Fuck that guy. Uh, yeah, fuck him in particular. Can't pick up that box. Nope, I'm fucked. I just gotta run into that room. I mean, it's just on a whim at this point, but I'm just... I'm, my way is blocked at this point, so my first thought is, go into the room. That must have something that I can distract it with to get around. And so that I can assess the other half of my situation. So... I just sprint... And fuck this. Can't get up on the box for a second. And I panic. No, it's the next upcoming box that I freak out about. He, w he goes over there. Just be a douchebag. And just stay in my way. Just stay right in the way of everything that I do. So that, you know, I can't comfortably jump over to the lever. So here I am looking around for shit to throw. Because I know that throwing shit into the water distracts him for a little bit. So, I'm looking around for books, try to pick up that piece of paper, doesn't work. Um, 
no books, he's farting, I tell him to stop farting, because I, I just recorded this like a few seconds ago, and yeah, just gone through, just watched through it again to notice that my fucking mic is off. Oh, yep, there's my panic. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just coughed again. Um, and yeah, find a book, throw it into the corner. No, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? Okay, I guess I'm... I ended up... Yeah, yeah, I ended up realizing my stupidity there. And I think that that's gonna stay... And I start thinking, oh, is this just gonna stay up? I if so, I'm just gonna go over here, throw this book, distract the shit out of that guy, and just get the fuck out of here. I'm gone. I'm gone, bitch. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Getting out. Jumping on things so that you slow down. And I wait stupidly here. Just waiting for the death to happen. Like an idiot, I stop and let the water monster catch up. Oh, forgot that box was there. Actually, I probably didn't. I was probably jumping over to it on purpose, but I forgot the box was there post-editing. So... I thought I was just gonna splash down again. Oh, found another book. Throw that over there. And if you notice, the clicking has stopped. Therefore, that door down that hallway that I'm looking down, right, right there, yeah, it's closed. So I gotta go back over there, pull that lever again, and just, you know, be generally good at the game instead of being terrible like I am. Sorry, I keep... Oh, am I muted? No, I'm not. I just gotta check that now. I'm now very cautious about it. And next episode, I will make sure that I don't fuck up like that. And all, sequ all sequential episodes after that. Okay, here's me jumping back into this area. Just to generally be better at the game. I stupidly grab a book before pulling the lever and realize my mistake, so I try to put it down, try to put it down. Oh, don't work it. Oh, okay. Water monster's coming towards me. Haha. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. So then I walk over here, make sure that I can grab this book at a moment's notice, and I pull the lever. Pick up a book, throw it in the corner, and like an idiot, I run before the book hits the water. And I just have to Superman jump over these damn boxes and just run like the freaking idiot that I am. Just fucking sprint. I'm gone. Screw you guys. Fuck you guys. I get over here. Door closes behind me immediately, which I'm happy about. So I take that shit because Jesus, I'm hurt. And there we go. And it fixes my heart up. Yeah. And then there's another guy, so I curse him out of a bit. And yeah, continuing on. Uh, gotta figure out how to get across the room, from what I'm realizing. So yeah, I look around, looking around. Uh, I determine that going to the barrels is apparently the best idea. Start yelling at him for his farting. So yeah, barrels are apparently the best idea. Yep, there, there I am realizing that's a good idea. And then here I am realizing that it's not. Okay. It's right there. Right fucking there. So I'm gonna carefully put that in front of me. Not so carefully, but you know. You know what I mean. Move that closer towards me so I can just run onto it. Which is a lie, just so you know. I can't just run onto it. So I throw that to distract him. And then I jump on this barrel. Nope. <coughs> like an idiot, I pick it up. Just to carefully place it back down. And then jump onto it. And then notice that, yeah, I'm in the water. So running, 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 running. I'm damaged, and I can't fix that about myself. So I just gotta deal with that. Until I find another Ludinium? L Ludorum? I, I don't know what it's called, but it's the Healy Juices. Uh, I decide throwing a box is a good idea instead of one of the limbs. 
which I for I totally forgot that the limbs distracted him more. And then I noticed that, you know, fucking backs, fucking backses don't distract him apparently as well as barrels and arms do. I decided putting these in front of this. That's a good idea. That's good. Then he just pushes it out from under me. I panic, jump back on successfully. And then, like an idiot again, use one of the boxes as a distraction. Which it works this time, thankfully. Gives me enough time to jump over to the boxes, as you'll see in a second. And then just scramble over to the massive boxes that I'm looking at right now. Gives me enough time to scramble over there. And, yep. Yeah, pick up this box. Well, I get the idea. I get the idea of throwing one of those things to distract him, because I, because like an idiot, I think that he's going to stay on the arm when I jump into the water, which is a lie, and it doesn't turn for some odd reason, and I fucking, you know, yeah, I am now fucking, the screen is now a nice shade of blood red as I look through my thing and realize that I don't have any more laudinium. There's me realizing that the limbs, I have to let him get to the limbs before it's a sufficient distraction. <laughs> so, good idea, just throw it over there. That's actually a really good idea, so you can stand on it while you work on the lever. Then I take a torso, toss it over there. Or, no, like an idiot, I drop it right there. And then, since I only really need to get over to that box, or I, at least I thought I only needed to get over to that box, I pull up the gate. This is going to take a little while. I open up the gate and fucking make a mad dash. Because I thought the gate would close behind me. But no, I died. Ah. Dead flesh can act as a distraction. I already realized that one, but hey, thank you for the tip. Okay, puts me back over here on top of a box, thank god. So now I've got my strategy down. So let, let's just execute it. This time I won't be an idiot and go for the barrels. And yeah. Throw this over here because I realized that flesh is a bit of distraction. And for some reason, the boxes are already in their places that they would have been. I don't know why, but they are. So I use that as as a way to just go. Actually, this time I skip that box and just go. <coughs> and yeah, I realize that the boxes are in the right place, so I don't need to position them again. I just need to pick up a torso. No, uh, no. What am I doing? I forgot what I'm doing here. I try to pick that up. I try to pick that up. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, it does work. Ah, I forgot about this. There's parts of this that I'm already forgetting, so... Oh, yeah. I think that will help. It doesn't, really. I mean, I could do it without it. So, I decide to just jump over there while I still have the chance, since he's already far away. I jump over there, start un- just go ahead and raise up the door since it won't go back down whenever I let it let go. And I just, yeah, opening the door still. Okay, door's open. I look at it, make sure it's not falling. I pick up the torso because I think he actually takes longer eating the torso. I wait until he gets to the torso. Okay, and then I just start running, because fuck that guy. Close the door, get on a box, because I think there's going to be another guy in there, but there's not, so I'm safe for a little while. I find this hollow needle, and yeah, I look around, look around, and then I start to realize that he's actually on his way to the door to break it down. So I'm just getting... I'm just throwing stuff at the door at this point. I, it was the only, only item that I got in the room, and I was glad that I didn't need anything else to pick the lock. 
So it does that weird thing with the menu. I don't know what's up with that. And here we are in more water. Turn the just just start going. Nothing weird here. No water monster yet. And then I see that shit and I get very cautious, but then I just decide to sprint. Because I'm pretty sure I hear splashing behind me. Uh, close door, close door. I totally forgot about the quick open and quick close options for these. I just was an idiot and used the slow open and slow close. But it it's a, it worked surprisingly well for how I did it. So here I am just panicking. Panicking like all hell. Like you'll see the screen shake every now and then. And that's either from me just like frantically moving moving the mouse. Like, right here, I'm pretty sure is one of the times where I'm frantically moving the mouse. And, yeah, at this point, I am shaking in real life. Just freaking the hell out. And I get to the back hall. Which, I am so glad, actually ends up being a safe zone. So, I breathe a sigh of relief as soon as I see the stairs up here, which you'll see in a second. As soon as I see these stairs, I breathe a sigh of relief as I walk up here and am happy that I see baby statue. And it focuses my view over there telling me basically I need to go over there. There's beautiful legs in the statue. It's actually stone this time instead of real legs. And look at that baby statue. Look at that. So happy that I kiss it. Okay. So. Sorry, that was kind of cringy. I just noticed that. So, yeah. There's a raven. I start making jokes at it like, You a Hufflepuff? You a Hufflepuff? And then I say, I'm sorry. And then I say, like, What is it? Blood? Order of the Blood Raven? I can't fi I can't remember the, the freaking Secret Society's name, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I haven't looked it up, but I'm definitely going to go with that one. So I'm wandering around a bit. I find this chest, which I'm totally glad to find because it has supplies in it that I may need in the future. Especially that oil, because I used my lamp throughout that whole last part. And yeah, it's, it's good shit. Good shit right here. This is actually a really pretty game, even though I'm playing it on medium graphics. And I th actually, I think I'm playing it on low. I can't remember. But I'm even playing it on medium or low graphics. Sorry. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Okay, so... Here I am, getting here, I just right before I pull this lever I go, and let me guess, it's not going to be working, so I have to go on a wild goose chase to get other things, and lo and behold, it's not working. So there's me note saying I got to get the engine started to do all this shit, and I just decide to look around a little bit more, get, get a bearing before I end up running into all this BS. There's a machine room. There's, I wander over here for a little bit. Running over here to see what these other rooms are. Just to get a bearing of my surroundings. So that I'll know exactly where to go as soon as it mentions it. Here's the study. Yes. Yes. Good. 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 Guest room. And on my way down I end up saying something like, It's a guest room. It's guest room. That means there should be a be only one room in that area so it shouldn't be that hard to navigate but you know knowing game design it's multiple guest rooms so I go down here check this area out storage of course storage might be the place that I need to go immediately after the machine room because I noticed that oh there's no parts blah 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 I look at this seeing if I even can light it and yeah and this is basically where I do my outro and I'm just gonna repeat it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you actually liked how I repaired this video, please make sure to give me a like and comment, because I am not very confident that this is a good way to repair videos, 
but I repaired it nonetheless. It is in working quality now, which I am totally happy about. And yeah, like button, share this with your friends, share this series with your friends, chronological order, if they haven't seen it. And yeah, click the like button, subscribe button, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that bell down there below the little screen that you're watching to make sure that you get notifications of when my stuff is uploading. Also, subscribe. Also, follow my Twitter so that you know when I may or may not be uploading videos when ir irregularities occur in my in my schedule. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.